Hi guys, welcome to the Reach tutorial. Today we're just going to focus on the ad videos. Um, again, this is where you can do YouTube links or if you have your personal videos on your desktop, you'd be able to upload them. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll click on the announcement tab and then hit add videos. Um, so right away, this kind of property page shows up. As you can see, I've got a couple videos already preloaded. Um, if you have a YouTube link, you'll just click on the YouTube right here and then paste your link in and hit submit. Once you do that, um, you basically get the little icon, as you can see up top where it says new and then the YouTube you know, um, logo. If you have one on your desktop, you'll just hit upload here and then find that particular video on your desktop. Otherwise, what you can do is you can drag it right in here. Now, what is nice is that maybe you have four or five videos that you wanna just upload at once. You can drag them all in here you could click away, you know, go to a meeting, answer a phone call, come back, and everything will, you know, be uploaded by then. Um, you always know which ones, I guess, are new because of this new banner. Now, this new banner will go away once you've scheduled it out. And just so you have an understanding of how our system works is because we are a cloud-based server um, or software, my apologies, or apology, um, when you upload the video, it basically gets uploaded to the cloud. It then gets thrown to a third party that transcodes it and then shoots back down to us. So as you can see, this is changing, letting you know where we're at. Um, the nice thing is, is that there's unlimited space. You know, you have unlimited storage. So you'll never get a phone call from us being like, hey, you know, you 20 videos, you know, you're maxed out in the space. Um, you know, that will never happen. You can upload as many as you want. Um, one thing too, like I said, kind of going back to this new banner, this will go away, like I said, once you schedule it out. So if there's kind of, you know, a couple people helping you out, you know, um, uploading content and, you know, you go in there and you're like, man, why is that video just like not showing up? There's a good chance that maybe the video was uploaded, but it was never scheduled. So you could kind of, you know, verify by clicking in here and seeing that. Now, as you can see, when I click on these videos, the right side basically is changing. Um, it's letting you, know, letting you know what the reach video name is. Um, you know, when was it uploaded? What is the length? Um, if I, you know, uploaded it three months ago and you're like, man, what is that video? I can't remember it. Um, you can click on this thumbnail and then this will give you like a live view of, you know, what that is. Um, up top here, this is folders. So this allows you guys to create folders to kind of basically stay um, organized. You know, maybe you create a folder for each department or maybe you create a folder for each product. You know, whatever fits your needs or whatever videos you're kind of uploading. Um, of course, you can delete the folder and then rename it. Uh, one thing just to kind of note is let's just say I create a folder and it's it says reach. And um, all of a sudden down the road after a month, I'm like, OK, I'm going to delete the folder. If you delete the folder, you actually don't delete the videos. Um, you're only deleting that that the particular folder. If you want to delete the fold or the oh my gosh, if you want to delete the movie file, you need to come into all videos. This is like your home base. This is your main library. From there, you would select which one and then just hit delete. So just kind of one thing to keep in mind is even if you delete the folder, you're not deleting the actual videos. Um, down below here, so once we've created some folders, I can assign them right here. Um, again, it says that there's non existing because, well, we didn't create one. Um, and then again here, based on location. So if you have multiple locations, you can pick and choose where do you want to run this video. So I want it to run on first floor for this particular tutorial. So then we'll hit schedule. And then the name will automatically adjust here. So, you know, maybe if you didn't like the name on your desktop or the YouTube doesn't make sense, you can definitely adjust it here. Um, start and end date. So if you want it to run in the future or you just want it to run 24 seven, you could select these items. Um, as a default, the video is pretty much designed to run 24 seven, unless you kind of come in here and say, okay, I only want it to run on Mondays or I only want it to run through this time frame. Um, the system does know how long the video is or the YouTube link, so that will already be in there for you. Um, set as draft and full screen. So I think set as draft kind of makes sense to all of us, but this full screen option is if I select this, when this video runs in the playlist, um, it's basically going to take full screen. So it's going to hide all of your widgets. You know, if you have a logo or a weather or schedule, it's basically going to overlay or um, I guess hide those those particular widgets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select full screen right now and then I'll show you a preview kind of after this tutorial so you can see what that looks like. 
So then we'll hit publish. So of course the video always is gonna go um, to the bottom of the playlist. So it does just take a sec to kind of load up here. So don't feel like, hey, I published it, like what's going on? Um, you know, sometimes I kind of click away, kind of click back, um, but it will, it will appear, it just takes a second. Um, so let me show you what that full screen option is. Um, so let's go into my marketing layout right here and we'll just kind of watch this load up so you can see what that looks like. So here's one announcement. So again, um, you know, I didn't publish it to anything. I just kind of ran it in here. Now after this, that full video will display. So here's kind of that full screen option. That's kind of what I'm referring to. So each video, each YouTube link that you upload, you have this option to do this full screen. All right, so that was kind of it for, for the tutorial. Um, again, you can see that that reach video has kind of appeared now. But um, if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to call or email our support team. Thanks again, guys. Hope you guys have a great day.